Okay, yesterday we talked about the establishment of the priest, the priesthood, the Aaronic priesthood in the first two verses of Exodus 28. And God talks to Moses about these garments. So let's kind of deal with this and talk a little bit more about these garments. We're going to get real specific over the next several days. But I find this to just be so fascinating. One thing I'd encourage you to do is uh, just go to whatever search engine that you use when you search the internet and type in um, Aaron's um, clothing as a priest. And there's some really interesting depictions of it where people have taken the the exact descriptions found here at Exodus 28 and drawn that out what it would exactly look like. And it's really, really fascinating stuff. But let's look at just verses 3 and 4. It says, Instruct all the skilled craftsmen whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. Have them make garments for Aaron that will distinguish him as a priest set apart for my service. These are the garments they are to make, a chest piece, an ephod, a robe, a pattern tunic, a turban, and a sash. They are to make these sacred garments for your brother Aaron and his sons to wear when they serve me as priests. Now, an interesting thing here is when he talks about these craftsmen, he said, who I fill with the spirit of wisdom. So there's almost a, a special blessing or filling of the Holy Spirit for these craftsmen as they're making these things. I just find that to be really interesting. And on a real practical note, I think that the Israelites would have learned so much of these different kinds of techniques of embroidery and weaving and spinning and metalwork and all these things from their time of being in Egypt, where this this would the, the upper crust of Egypt would have been some of the richest people in the world at that time in this great empire. And they would have had a lot of ability to make and do metalwork and all these things. So it really goes hand in hand there. And another interesting thing, besides just the list of things, he says to wear when they serve me as a priest. Their first ministry and their service was to God. At the heart of it, the priest's service wasn't really to the people, it was to God. By extension, because they serve God, they serve the people. But they were dedicated to the service and the worship of and the leading of the people to serve and worship the Lord. That was the priest's job. They were the intermediary. They were the intercessor between the people and the Lord under the old covenant. And so it lists all of these garments. And as we get into the next sections, God's going to talk about each piece of this independently and give very detailed directions to Moses, just like he gave very detailed directions for the tabernacle. It's so important that, that God deals with these details. I love the God of the details. We'll talk to you later about those details.